notes. Notes for what? Radicals. We're doing all these different operations on radicals, and it's worksheet five, right? Okay, so. Well, pretty much a little bit of what we were kind of looking at yesterday. It's going to say simplify, but in reality, you're multiplying here, right? Because we have a distributive property uh, set up. Number one, 4 root 10. So there'll be like this outside multiplier here, and you'll see parentheses. And then you'll have an expression on the inside of the parentheses. All right, just like the previous assignment, make sure you get that one done before you try this one. So yeah, this number is being multiplied to this expression, right? And uh, you're going to do distributive property. This 4 root 10 gets multiplied to the first one plus, and then that 4 root 10 gets multiplied to the second one. Yeah. Correct? And then this is like an individual piece and an indi individual little problem there. And then this is like another individual piece, another individual problem. How do we do this? What's going to happen here? So this is going to be what? What are we going to get out of that? Oh, here we go. Four times two is six. All right. 8 root 10. Everybody agree the 2 is a whole number. It gets only multiplied with the 4, right? The root 10, there's no radical. Okay, so, and then 10 is always checked. 10 is in its simplest form, so that this one's done, right? Plus, and then what's going on here? What's going to happen here? Well, the outside numbers are going to multiply with the outside numbers, and then the 10s are going to, I mean, without multiplying, they're, they're supposed to be multiplied the inside numbers with the inside numbers, right? Outside numbers with the outside number, 4 times 5, and the 10 with the 10. What's going to happen there? Bless you. That's going to be 8 root 10. This side's done. Plus, isn't that going to be 4 times 5 times? Isn't that coming out? So it's 4 times 5 times? 10. All right. So final answer is 8 root 10 plus? That's 200 when you multiply all that? There it is. That is correct. So it's uh, pretty much a continuation of like yesterday, right? Okay, number two. Number two. Did everybody get that? Is that good? Everybody okay? If not, well, you can see the video and pause it, rewind it. Negative 4 root 15 on the outside and then multiply to this inside expression here 3 root 3 plus 5 root 10 oh that one looks good that one looks good well we know that this parentheses means like multiplication this times this but when you have an expression you have to distribute right so the negative 4 root 15 is going to be multiplied to the first term plus, and then the negative 4 root 15 is also going to have to be multiplied to the term after that. And if there was more, well, you would do it again. Okay, but it's only two. Good. And then, like I said, it kind of just breaks out into two separate little individual problems. What's happening here? I'm going to have to do negative 4 times 3 on the outside, and inside is going to be what? 15 times 3, right? Is that right? But don't multiply them, right? Plus, and over here the outside ones are negative 4 times 5 on the outside, right? Negative 4 times 5 the outside, and then the inside is what? 15 times 10, but don't, don't multiply it. Just leave it like that. Okay. And I'm going to have here what? 
negative 12 root, right, because I can multiply the, f I can multiply that, right? And then the 15 times 3, they do have a common factor. 15 here is what? 5 times, I'll put 5 times 3, so then, so then this 3 now will be next to this one, yeah? And we know what's going to happen next. What's going to happen next? There, if I have two of the same kind, they go out. So it's going to be whatever negative 12 times 3 is. So that's going to be uh, negative 36 root 5, right? Because five, 5 stayed in. Are we okay? We're done with this part of the problem, this first term right here. Did everybody get negative 36 root 5? Yeah. Plus, now let's, uh, let's do this one. Well, negative 4 times 5 is negative 20 root. And I'm not going to multiply 15 times 10. I know they have something in common. 15 is 3 times 5. And 10 is 5 times 2. Oh, yeah, I found something. You guys see how you want to break this down and, and look at the factors? Yeah. And what am I looking for? The same number that repeats twice. These fives, you guys agree, are going to come out? Yeah. So that's going to be on the outside. Whatever negative 20 times 5 is, is going to be on the outside. Everybody agree that's negative uh, 100? Negative 100. And what stayed inside? Three times two. They, I mean, always check. Always look if these also would have a common factor or something, but they don't. So what's going to be left three times two? Uh, six. And is that it? Is that the final answer? Yeah, but you see how when this has a plus and this has a minus, the way you're going to see the answer is what? Negative 36 root 5. What happens when you have... What is it going to say? It's not going to say plus minus. It's going to say what? Minus. minus 100 root 6. That's why. And that's all she wrote. That's all I'm going to do because I think we're good. Yeah? Yeah, I think you got it. All right, so.